Um, hello, my name is Farah and I'm from Kuwait. Uh, hello, my name is Nora al Saig. I'm from Saudi Arabia. I'm a freshman studying sociology. And hi, my name is Kothar. I'm also from Saudi Arabia. So what, what has stuck out to you from what, what I was saying and what Mariam was saying? Has anything like really stuck out, jumped out for you? Um, I saw the video actually of the Afghanistan, like the video about the Taliban, and I get what you were saying when you were like, the hijab shouldn't be forced, you shouldn't be forced to wear it, because in the end, there's no point of wearing it if you're not convinced, if you don't even know the reasoning behind it, so, like, everything happening in Afghanistan actually goes against Islam and what it preaches. Yeah, I guess that, and that's true of like, of so much religion, right? Like people follow it, but they have no idea why. Like I drink the wine and I eat the bread and like, I don't, I don't know, yeah, I do it. Like, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's intense. So you, so you're not hijabi. I mean, you're not, back, back in Kuwait, are you? Uh, no, we don't have any like rules of what we can wear in Kuwait, so uh -huh. I'm not. In your mom, do you, and women in your family? Uh, there are some women that are, some women aren't. My mom isn't. Uh huh. And then it's a choice. And when you're committed, when you're ready to commit, you do it. Did you ever think about it? I do intend of wearing it in the future. Yeah. I'm not ready to commit honestly yet, but all I have to do is work towards it and pray that God guides me towards it because I do want to wear it in the future. And for what reason? Like, what do you see for you? To listen to her aunt. This is such a cool. Just what? What? What do you what? What do you mean? God guide you? Like what? What do you see? What? Do, what's the possibility? Uh, so basically, it's like the whole idea behind wearing a hijab is modesty, and it's like I really like the idea behind it, and I'm not saying this as a Muslim. It's like it's to show that women are more than their physical appearance. They're more than what they seem to be, and I really like the idea behind that. Mm -hmm. And and yeah, how is it for you to see? Like, have you been out like on uh, Thursday or Friday or Saturday night here? It, like, yeah. <laughs> well, how is it's that like, for you? It's not new to me because, like, we have TikTok and we have Instagram and yeah, we have yeah. social media, so we we already we're already like introduced to this to these things yeah. and movies and TV shows. So I'm like, I'm not surprised, honestly. So how about where are you from? Uh, Saudi Arabia. And so, say for you. So when did you first cover? Uh, when I start, uh, uh, when I enter middle school. I when you enter middle school? Yeah, so when I enter middle school, yeah. Like at 12 or so? Yeah. And what, what, what for you? Like what, what was your thinking? How were you thinking? Um, actually, I know that I will cover, you know, like all my family, like during like when they enter like middle school, they cover. So I know that I will cover and I was really excited, you know, like. You were excited? New, yeah, yeah, it was like a new experience and I know like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so like it's a lot of benefit with it. So yeah, I was really excited. And okay, all right. And did you? Um, what kind of conversations did you have with, um, with both your mom and your dad, or your mom and your grandma, or who? No, I, I haven't. Uh, you know why? Because like I know I will wear it. Um, I just like kept asking my mom like what kind of hijab you will give it to me, like what color and this stuff. So I know I will wear it. Like it would never happen. Like the conversation with me. So how is it for you to, to hear Farah say, "Yeah, I, I, I'm quite sure I will cover in the future. I'm just not ready right now." How is that? How is that for you? Like it's what? optional. She doesn't want to. She doesn't have yeah. to. You know, but I want to. So I want to wear it. So yeah. Uh -huh. What it means for you. To cover um because you know all my family are cover up so like you know you will be different if you didn't cover up i don't know like you know i i say all my family are cover up so i'm like i want to be one of them you know mm -hmm. i want to mm -hmm. be part of them uh-huh uh-huh as you know someone cover wearing hijab mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I find that it's like it's no different than so many other cultural like customs that cultures have in cultures really all over the world that you get to a certain age and you get, you know, like a, a, a tattoo or you get an earring or you start wearing heels or you start like here in the West, but also in the East, you start wearing makeup. What, at what age do girls start wearing makeup? It's like the same as any other girl from any other country. Yeah, so, okay, so the same kind of thing, right? So you start wearing makeup, you start thinking about that and how you do it. It's like, it's the same thing. It's just, it's just that what's different is in the United States, we see there are fewer Muslim women or Hindu women or Jewish women or Christian Covering. women who cover. Yeah. And so it seems like it's really a little bit different. Kotir. Yeah. How, how about you? How, where, you're from Saudi too, right? Yeah. So how about you? When did you 
first start to... Or did you always know that you would? Yeah, of course. So I started covering up, like, wearing the hijab, at least, from ages, like, eight to nine. Like, I started to get used to it, like, in school and stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah. Were there any girls in your class at that point? How many girls were not covering? Um, I think, like, at that age, like, at uh, eight, or, eight or nine, like, maybe mostly, like, half of them. Uh-huh. Like are not covering yet. They, they start covering up by like middle school or high school even, uh -huh. or maybe after. I know, so I know people are probably wondering, when, so when do you take it off? Like with whom, around whom do you take your hijab off or your scarf? So around like my father, my uncles, and like future husband, and yeah, that's all. Uh -huh. And brothers, of course. And your brothers. So it would be, any, but any woman, right? Like if you yeah. were, like for example, if you went to office hours with a professor who was a woman yeah. and, and you knew you were going to be in there for a half hour or so and the door was closed, would you take it off? Just be like, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm going to let my hair breathe a little bit. I, don't know. Um, I think maybe it depends, but mostly like no, because I feel like it takes like a long time to like yeah. Yeah, yeah, put yeah. it on like, and I have to like see a mirror and stuff to make sure that it's good. So like... No, like I won't take it off because like the efforts will be uh -huh. like too much. Yeah, the way yeah. there's so many different styles, right? But like the style that you're wearing right now, yeah, it's, it's very different. The very sim yeah, it's going to be really hard. As opposed to Mariam down here, it's just kind of hanging on your head. Can you say more about the modesty question? Like what I think, like of it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. In yeah. my opinion. So actually, I was talking with uh, Nora the other day about like what's the meaning of modesty to us uh -huh, like, yep, yep. as individuals. So to me, I just think that like covering up, it doesn't have to be like hijab or like the abaya, the long mm -hmm, dress. Mm -hmm. It's just like maybe wearing a little bit like not, sh not showing off, not, not showing off like your body, mm -hmm. like maybe like a t-shirt or like pants, for example. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, uh, mo uh, modesty or covering up does not like mean just the hijab, the, the scarf that you put in your head. It could be just like the thing that you wear. Okay. It's how you represent it. And, it, and it's men also, right? In yeah. Islam, it's men. I mean, yeah. men are not like you. I, and I would be like the Taliban would yell at me for having a short sleeve shirt, for example. Right. So like long sleeves, you don't see shorts. You don't see men in shorts very much. I've never like when I've been in the Gulf. So, I mean, I've been in the Middle East, I don't know, a dozen times. I mean, a lot. And I, I rarely, I never see shorts. Even in, it's hot, man. I was in Kuwait in June. You know how hot it is in June. Uh, they wear shorts, it's just like over the knee. Yeah, over the knee. That's how yeah, it should yeah, yeah. be, but. Yeah, but like the shorts like we would see here. Yeah, yeah. they don't have to like wear like long sleeves. I think like it's fine they wear. Yeah, yeah you wear short sleeves? Yeah, yeah it's okay. okay. Mario. Quickly, did you only wear hijab because it was kind of more, because Afghanistan is more conservative or? Yep, yep. Uh, in Afghanistan, when girls uh, like grow up in uh, age, uh, it, it depends. Like for me, maybe when I was nine or 10, I was like, uh, had to wear hijab. Yeah. But uh, like before, I am talking about before Taliban. Yeah. But for my youngest sister, when like uh, just she was in 10, 11, or 12, she was good. Even uh, if she like doesn't wear hijab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It like it changed by the years, and for me, I I think it I was like nine or ten when I like had to wear hijab. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, because yeah. it is part of our culture too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is part of culture that yeah, uh, women and girls should wear hijab. You know, it's part of so many cultures that people cover, yeah. right? Like, like, in, like, you know, in Judaism, wearing the kippah, for example. Like, there's so much covering. Yeah. Uh, did you, can I, can I, I want to go back to you. When you say, yeah, I really, I see myself becoming, would you, would you can we say becoming a hijabi? Yeah. You say that. Yeah. Um, can you just say more about that? Like, what? Look, it's like I, I'd never support the idea of someone being forced to wear a hijab, but there is a pro to a woman wearing it when they're young because when you're young, you're less consumed by 
the toxic aspect of the world today, like yeah. when you care more about your physical appearance and yeah. stuff, so I can... Th then, then your brain. Yes. You care more about your body than your brain. Uh -huh. Especially now, like when we're more affected by the Western culture. Yep. So, like I can admit it is harder to wear it now, like as an 18-year-old, rather than if I would wear it as a young girl, you know? Uh -huh. I, it's re growing up in a land where it's, it's so much about physical like, appearances. It's about what you look like. It's so, so, so important. It's like you, we, it's our brains get colonized by the physical appearance, by this obsession of what we look like, as if that mat, you know, really all we are, we're just spirits inside of these bodies and we're trying to work it out. So when you cover, so let me ask, I'm going to ask, you've never covered. Okay. Yeah, hijab. But, but when you go to like a wedding or somewhere, are there places you go where you'll wear a scarf? No, I, no, if I don't wear a hijab, why would I wear a scarf for a wedding? No, it's just it's as just... like a, like maybe just as a, like a beauty thing or just something like, like no. my wife sometimes wears a scarf in different ways, right? Okay. So when you not being focused on appearance, like we're obsessed by appearance, how does this help with that? I think like, as you said, like appearance, like how a person can see you. Uh -huh. So maybe by that you mean like your style or h how you dress. Uh -huh. Is that right? So like for me, like I don't think like the hijab is like a barrier to like dress up or like make myself like look good. Like I can like find like any like style that I see that fits, fits me mm -hmm. or fit like my style. So yeah, I think like it depends on the person. It's, a, it's all about style. Yeah. yeah, like it's not yeah. it's not stopping me to like dress if I want yeah. to.